Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids. Now you can't see me in this video because I'm behind my iPhone 4. Now I've had a lot of requests over the last couple of days. One of the requests has been to actually show you some low light video footage taken with the iPhone 4. So I'm going to do that within this video. And also I've had a lot of requests from people as to what gadgets I use on a day to day basis. They want a tour of my desk. So I'm going to do both of those videos in one. I'm going to show you what I use on a daily basis, all shot with the Apple iPhone 4. Now, as I say, we're recording just in regular room light at the moment. I'm going to just take you through basically what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the mouse mat that I've got here on the desk is a Razer Spex. It's a very, very thin mouse mat, and I've actually uh, it's adhered to the desk. It's got like a very sort of low tack. Um, sort of glue underneath it so it does actually stick to the desk and I use that as my mouse mat it's quite large as you can see plenty of room there for moving the mouse around and then this is a Logitech Performance Mouse MX and again this is a review product it's not actually mine but I will be purchasing one of these when this one gets returned because I've been very impressed with it and then moving up to the back of the desk there just hiding behind my cup, I've got a Belkin Universal Dock and USB 2 hub. And as you can see, I've got lots of USB bits and pieces plugged in, various hard drives, etc. And then this has also got a dock, so I can dock either my uh, iPod or my iPhone. And then just hidden behind the monitor there is one of the two speakers that I run. It's a Logitech Z4 system. I think it's called a Z4i and you've got one speaker just hiding behind the monitor there and then the other one's down there and then there is also a subwoofer hidden underneath the desk and then there's a little control breakout box with a, a sort of volume control and a bass control and also some little inputs here so that I can actually uh, put some headphones in or input another device I can attach an iPod to this and actually play the music of the iPod through the speakers so that's really nice and then just concentrating on this side of the desk this little pouch here contains a uh, flip Mino HD which I'm reviewing at the moment then there's my Sanyo ZAC-T VPC-SH1 that is the camcorder I, I use for most of my video reviews and then we've got an Elgato Turbo .264 HD. I use that from time to time to encode videos. It speeds things up a lot. I've got a little Integro, integral sorry, memory card reader for SDHD cards. Then a micro SD card reader there as well. And then coming down I've got a Netgear Skype phone which I use on a daily basis. Probably my most used gadget after my Mac. Uh, I use this for a lot of Skype calls. I actually subscribe to Skype so I do use this a lot. Then I've got a standard uh, sort of slimline chiclet style full length Apple keyboard. This is the extended one with the numeric keypad. And then just completing this side of my desk I've got my external monitor. Now this monitor, I'll just come back a little bit to give you a full view of it, is an NEC and the model number is an EA go up here Multisync EA 241WM and that's, that's a 24 inch monitor and I've got that actually mirroring the display on my iMac so I'm going to pause the video shortly and just change the lighting conditions now for you and then start the video up again with some different lighting well now I've blocked out a lot of the light it's not what I would call dark, but I've blocked out all of the natural light in the room by drawing the curtains, etc. So this is what I would call a sort of low light condition for recording with the iPhone 4 to see how it performs. So this is my Apple Airport Extreme base station. This is what I use for my internet connection. It's actually connected through into another room which contains the router and cable modem. And then moving on round, I've got a little Freecom uh, XS external hard drive which I'm reviewing at the moment so that's not actually mine and then we've got my 24 inch iMac you can see my reflection in there so I use this on a daily basis for all of my video editing and then coming on down we've got my normal decked phone which is a Simons 
call this phone and what other gadgets have we got a little sharp calculator there and then I've got a my memory I think it's called a jump start charger I'm reviewing this at the moment as well coming in really handy that because it's actually got a battery inside it so it charges the internal battery and then you can use it without having it plugged into the main so I'll be bringing you a review of that very soon and then we've got some eye clear spray used that for absolutely years never seems to run out but probably will now I've said that so I'm going to have to order some more of that up and then we've got a G-Tech G-Safe drive which I'm reviewing at the moment so that's not actually mine nice piece of kit though there's my Olympus Pen EPL1 camera really liking that that's actually mine that's the one I purchased and just tucks behind the iMac I'll give you a look around the back here we've got some hard drives hidden down here and just down there we've got two Samsung Story Station hard drives they're one terabyte each and then we've got the Freecom drive there which is a one and a half terabyte quattro and then I've got two Seagate free agent uh, desktop hard drives there as well they're a terabyte each and the reason I've got so many is I back up one to the other so if one fails I've still got a backup and the Freecom is actually used for all of my video work does a really good job nice fast interface in there so we're still in that low light condition now I'm going to tap the screen of the iPhone and put that LED flash on that can be used as a video light and as you can see it does make quite a bit of difference to light in those dark areas I'm actually going to go down underneath the desk now just to give you one last glimpse just under here I've got a couple more bits of equipment I've got a Belkin um, Ethernet switch a gigabit Ethernet switch that's got all of my connections in for my consoles and then just there I've got a, another Seagate drive there for doing my time machine back up and while I'm under here it's quite dark under there so I'm going to actually turn that light off again just so you can see what a difference it makes so I hope that's given you a good insight into how the iPhone 4 performs video wise and also an insight into what I use every day I mean these are my main gadgets that I use all of the time in my production to bring you the videos that you view on my YouTube channel well thank you very much for listening please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geek and Noise channel this video is sponsored by mymemory.com for great prices fast delivery and reliable customer support visit mymemory.com